avoid the pain points when hedging intercompany loans. Welcome to Currency Cast. My name is Austin McKinley. I'm the senior financial writer at Cantox. I'm your host. In this episode, we analyze a new way to hedge the currency risk in intercompany loans. We take the real case of a Europe-based company that issues euro-denominated long-term loans to subsidiaries in emerging markets. This episode is sponsored by Integrated Finance, API-first fintech infrastructure you can build on. By using conditional stop-loss and take-profit orders, you can achieve significant savings in terms of the cost of carry. And while negative mark-to-market valuations trigger the usual margin calls from liquidity providers, positive valuations are cashed in. And you keep your firm's exposure to currency risk under active management throughout. Intercompany loans are loans made by one business unit of a company to another. They are extremely useful because A. No credit application is required, B. The funds can be made available on short notice, and C. Repayment terms can be very long. Now let's analyze the challenges created by hedging a loan issued from headquarters to a subsidiary whose currency trades at a deep forward discount to that of the group. For example, a firm based in Spain issues a multi-year loan in euros to a subsidiary in Mexico. Two challenges immediately come to mind. Number one, when, how, and where is the FX exposure generated? And number two, how to mitigate the impact of the high cost of carry, in this case about 10% per year. To calculate the exposure to currency risk, nothing beats a good FX risk map. An FX risk map is a simple yet powerful graphical representation of FX risk across the transaction journey. In this case, it would show two things. One, the risk does not necessarily start when the euro loan is made, but rather when the funds are actually deployed by the subsidiary. And number two, the FX rate to defend is the weighted average of all the rates that prevail at the moment conversions are done. A common approach to hedging long-term intercompany loans is to take a one-year hedge that can be rolled as necessary. Let's consider some of the pain points involved. The high cost of carry. At about 10% per year in Mexican pesos to euro, it implies a very high cost of hedging. The open FX risk if the initial hedge is not properly aligned with the conversions. And the impact of mark-to-market valuations. While negative valuations trigger the usual margin calls from liquidity providers, positive valuations are not cashed in. Now, That's a lot of pain points. By delaying the execution of hedges with the help of conditional orders, we achieve savings in terms of the cost of carry in two ways. With the shorter maturities itself, as we move to the left part of the forward curve. And with the shape of the forward curve. In convex forward curves, we achieve more than proportional savings as we move to the shallow part of the curve. All the while, FX risk remains under active management. As time goes by, FX gains and losses on a spot basis tend to cancel each other as both stop loss and take profit orders are hit. In our work with clients and in our own statistical simulations, this way of hedging intercompany loans has proven very effective, as savings in terms of forward points far outweigh increased trading costs. On euros to Mexican pesos, annual savings of about 2.5% can be achieved, and of about 1.5% in dollar to Swiss franc. Needless to say, all of this requires a significant degree of automation, as conversions, repayments, and conditional orders must be reset at all times. In this area of high FX volatility, shifting interest rate differentials, and less than stellar cash flow visibility, Currency management automation solutions allow you to simultaneously handle all of these concerns, while at the same time optimizing cash management. In my book, that's pretty good. Thanks to Integrated Finance for sponsoring this episode.